Hello guys, welcome back to my third video. As you can see, I'll have a, I'll, I'm gonna do a full on hog rider raid. And since my hog are level one, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail. So yeah, I was, um, I was gonna do a full on wizard raid and a and a go wipe, but in the middle of my recording, as you can see from here, um, my recording just stopped and um, I didn't really notice so. Um, I, so, um, it didn't say, so instead, I just chose to do a hog rider raid. And as you can see in my clan castle, I'll have, um, five hog, five hog riders and one level three poison spell. And you can also see, um, we're done upgrade, we're done researching our heal spell. And now we're researching our balloon. I chose my balloon over my goblins or wall breakers is because I use balloons sometimes for balloonians and I might show. And, but if you like to farm more, then you should use goblins. And if you're and if and if you're a person that you like to use go wipe and stuff like those, then you should upgrade the wall breakers because you don't really want your troops to be f focusing on these walls. You want your troops to actually take a lot of damage to absorb as much damage as they can. So yeah. Um, for my, for my next video, I'm gonna do a Clash Royale video, I'm pretty sure, because, um, a viewer called the Gaming Duckling G, he been requesting for a long time, so, my next video is gonna be a, be a Clash Royale, and I'll give you a, and I'll tell you a little bit about my deck, just like a sneak peek, um, my deck is, consists of a giant skeleton, goblin horde, not goblin horde, I mean min, minion horde, goblin barrel, Infernal Tower, um, Hog Rider, Balloon, Free Spell, and what was my last one? Let's see. Um, I'm, 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 I know, yeah, I just remember a Skeleton Army. Um, so that's my deck, and I'll be showing how I use it. And if you think I could use my deck better, then just leave it in the description below. And also tell me, should I, after this, should I be researching my Golem to level 2? Or anything else that you think I should be such low to for Dark Alexa Troop. Because I'm actually saving up since my king is um, low 10. I can't upgrade it any further. So yeah. So right now I'll be hopping in and showing you a replay of my full on wizard hack. And as you can see, I'm just saying right now. This is my first time using full on wizard. So yeah. And I'm and I'm fighting against, a, in my opinion, a... Doing, uh, in my opinion, a pretty maxed out Town Hall 8. Not maxed out, but like, pretty maxed out because um, I'm pretty sure he just came in Town Hall 8, but then his walls are a good level, and yeah. As you can see right now, I'm just using my wizard to clear the, um, the, op the ops not obstacles, like uh, buildings that might distract any of my troops, and then I just go full on wizard here and just spam it. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure I spam my wizard here. Um, it's gonna be any minute now, like any minute soon. Or I just wait till all my wizard died. Then, I, yeah, see, I I just go on full on wizard spam to clear these obstacles. Then, then I put in all my troops to destroy their troop. And then I put my barb king to destroy their barb king. And then I, and I think I had, yeah, I had um, I have um, five wizards in my clan castle. And one archer, pretty sure. Or was it one max? Because, yeah, five wizards and one archer. They're all maxed out. And then, yeah, I got a lot of loot. And I, and I mainly got the Dark Alexa, which I'm very happy about. And yeah, um, I just wait until my Barb King pushed it. The minute he destroyed the wall, I put him down some wizards to destroy the to destroy the wizard tower. Because I know my Barb King is going to be um, attacking the wall. So, yeah. I raised my Barb King because it's about to die. And... This always happened. The minute my bar king summons um the barbarians, there was a giant bomb and and they literally killed like two two wizards. That's just wow. Like, yeah. And I put poison spell because I I knew, I know that the uh, um dragon's gonna ruin my raid. And then it kind of did. But then since I put a spell, I saved a bunch of wizards and I killed a giant. And then I went in. I just went a full on wizard here. I just spammed it out because I was like, you know what? Who cares? And, and yep, yep, screw, screw the bomb. Screw the big giant bomb. No one likes giant bombs. They're just so annoying. Especially if you're doing like full on hog rider or 
for on wizard attack because it's very crucial on a placement because one giant bomb will literally just destroy your base literally not base like destroy your entire raid but i got like a very good amount of loot from this raid so i'm not complaining not a bit and this is my first time hog rider in case if i didn't tell and yeah, this is how I would like to use Go Whip or how I prefer on a very pretty max out. I put one there, one there, so they can funnel and tank. Like, this Go Whip might go around. I didn't get the Town Hall, I'm just saying. I didn't get the Town Hall. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Just funnel around while this Go Whip funnel around. Um, someone guys might ask, be asking me, um, of, um, Vincent, um, how did you forget your raid? And what happened? Well, mainly because it was yesterday I recorded it. Um, I recorded around nine, but then since nothing saved, then yeah. And I put around, I put a heal spell, I think. Yeah, just for that golem, I put a heal spell. No, or, yeah, I put a rage spell, and then I'm gonna put a heal spell very soon. Just watch. I, I know I'll put a heal spell around here. As you can see, the golem, this golem, just tank, just attacking the wall, so it didn't tank for these. Um, wizard, and I'll be putting a heal spell very soon because I saw the golem was about to die. So then I was like, um, no, I can't. Yeah, see, for the golem and for my barbarian king. And yeah, it was it went beast. Um, and then I put it like a wizard right here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I put a wizard here. I put a heal spell because I saw that golem going low again. Yeah, see, I thought they were gonna go in, but it turns out they're like no, and then I just wasted my heal spell for no reason. And then, yeah, I really like it on how the Pekka's like destroy when you place it. It's, it's in my opinion, it sounds just like very good. Then oh wait, where did I put? Oh, I placed my wizard here, taking out that, and then my wizard could have took in out the archer tower, but instead it went for the air defense. So the minute my Pekka died. The minute my Pekka died, my wizard died. I will, I'll, sh I'll show it like this. See, right when dies, yep, and then there goes my wizard. Then Golemites, I'll just speed it up because now it's just clean up. And anyways, I wouldn't have got anywhere near 100%. No, yeah. No, oh, I did get the two star. Yeah, I did remember now. Oh, my mistake, guys. My mistake. And then, yeah. So that was a very good raid, in my opinion. And yeah, I'll be hopping into a Hog Rider raid right now. And I'll show you how I would use Hog Riders. In my opinion, if you're using a Hog Rider raid, you should bring two heal spell and one rage spell. And you shouldn't put your hero anywhere near the beginning. You should put it at the end when your Hog Rider um, cleans up everything and your hero is the cleanup troop. So clean everything up. So I'll be hopping into a raid right now, and I'll be right back. Hello guys, I'm back and I found this base, and I'm gonna start right in, right from here, taking out the splash damage troops, and as you can see, this is my first time just saying again. And yeah, I'll be spamming them in, doing as much damage as I can. Oh god, I'm failing already. So bad. And there goes all my hog riders right now. Ah, oh, shite. Well, I failed. Guys, I just, I just failed right there. I just failed everything. I failed life. Oh my god. Well, this was the worst raid ever, and I'll just be ending it right here. Wow, I just feel so bad. I feel like so bad. Like, I'm not sure how I did this bad. And as you can see, I'll be... Since I have two rage spell here, I don't know why. But I'll just be using it. No, no I won't use it. I'll just save it for my next video. I can't believe I feel that bad. I, I'll, I'm probably gonna be sad for the rest of my day. But as you can see, I'll sh I wanna see how I feel. So first I found the base, and then I just spammed in my Hawk Riders. But then there's no way, cause then I place, oh, the wizards, the wizards, the, 
the was yeah but no that is not not possible they couldn't have killed like 20 hog riders that is not possible no i do not believe that is that really possible i feel i feel so bad like so bad well right now instead of doing a hog rider raid i'll just be showing you some clan wars attack as you can see we won this clan war and i'll show you another i'll show you another great um go ape attack by our second player billy madison and i'll any i'll just i'll just tell you that he attacked from here because i watched this replay multiple times seeing how he played and he did pretty good in my opinion and he i'm pretty sure he put a poison spell somewhere soon yep and he put in a poison spell yep yeah i knew it then he just goes for one. he could have placed his pekka a little bit later so the pekka swarms in look as you can see from it looks like he's swarming in because of the barb king but a minute he went near him, after they destroyed the Barb King, the P.E.K.K.A. attacked here for a while. And then after they destroyed the Archer Tower, they just went around and went back out. As you can see from here, he just went out. But these two P.E.K.K.A. placements are very good. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he could have 3 star if he had better P.E.K.K.A.'s placement. And if the Golems didn't actually go around and the Golem actually tanked. As you can see, the multi-target Inferno was just like melting through his troops. And he could have placed the... Free spell a lot better because the inferno the inferno tower wasn't really targeting on all his troops. So yeah, put in another rage spell because he, he was on the town hall, and then he was like, "Yeah, I must get it," and he actually did very good. Like I wouldn't have done any better in my opinion. And then and then the archer queen, the beast, got it. And then the Archer Queen got more than 50%. No, it didn't. No, no, never mind. Oh, oh, the Wizards did. If I was him, I would just put a Wizard down here for, um, like, loot the Dark Elixir. But it looks like he didn't. No, actually, if you did put Wizards down here, the Archer Queen would have killed the Wizard. So, it was actually good placement. And, yeah. So, guys, um... I feel very bad in my hog ride raid, but I'll just move on. I'm pretty sure I'll never do a hog ride raid again on how bad I just did. Like, I had no idea how I felt. The wizards, even in this clan castle, wouldn't have killed my troops that much. Like, I put in a heal spell, and then, like, he literally just killed my troops. Let me see how much, um, it, do it doesn't really say how much troops it knocks off your property. But I'm pretty sure that doesn't really kill that much troops and i just wasted a ton load of elixir for nothing um so guys um this does it for my video and yeah i'm pretty sure this is my first video ever and yeah so basically i just failed very bad and i hope you guys enjoyed bye and peace out